Thanks for joining us today. I'm Amy Sharp here with David Nicholas and Aaron Jones of Nicholas Wealth Management. Legislative risk is one of the biggest but least understood risks to your retirement. But after today's show, you'll have a better handle on what this risk means to your retirement and what you can do about it. So I'm looking forward to this topic. I know a lot of people, their ears kind of perk up when they hear this because things go on in Washington. We don't always realize it's happening. Let's get to the big idea, um, ways that we can help prevent that legislative risk from really undermining yeah. our retirement, if you will. What What's the first thing to think about? Yeah, some of the things to think about, Amy, I mean, it's it's a really big deal because um, w when it comes to taxes, most people don't realize this, taxes are the lowest level that they've been in really almost 50 years. And so the current tax rates, which are extremely low, they have a, an end date and that expiration date is coming up very soon. These tax cuts expire in 2025. So when you think about just what are some of the proposals that are coming out of the legislative proposals coming out of Washington today, the administration just released their most recent tax proposal. This is mind blowing. I mean, there's a shocking $5 trillion worth of tax increases inside this proposal. We're seeing tax increases on small businesses. We're seeing tax increases on corporations. We're seeing capital gains tax increases. We're seeing uh, income tax increases in retirement, taxes on energy. So when you, when you add this all up, this equation tells us taxes are going higher. I just want to talk about the corporate income tax for a little while. We look at the corporate income tax. America's a competitive place to be. It's a competitive place to start a business. Current corporate tax rate is 21%. So that brings a lot of investment here to the U.S. It brings a lot of companies doing business in the U.S. The administration wants to raise that corporate tax rate from 21% up to 28%, which would put it at us at one of the highest corporate tax rates in the developed world. If you look at communist China, and I've talked a lot about communism and, and how you know, we've got to be careful of that leaking into our country, but communist China has a corporate tax rate of 25%. So what that, that tells us, it would be cheaper to start a pizza company on the corner of, of Communist Avenue than it would be to start a pizza company in, in New York City under these new proposals. So taxes are going higher. And what it means for us as Americans is we, it's, it's our right. I actually would say it's, a, it's our obligation to our family to really make sure that we can mitigate or reduce our taxes as much as legally possible.